If you're studying for a big herbology test like finals, year ends, clinic entrance exams, or boards, you'll probably want to be familiar with the 18 incompatible herbs and the 19 antagonisms. This is usually discussed under the heading of herb safety and potential adverse effects of herbs. So to give you some context, remember in the very beginning of herbs class, we talked about techniques for combining herbs. And these had names like mutual accentuation, mutual enhancement, mutual counteraction, mutual suppression, and blah, blah, blah. Well, these first ones are all beneficial combinations or combinations we would want to use in a treatment. But the next two, mutual antagonism and mutual incompatibility, are combinations that we want to avoid. These are also referred to as the 18 incompatible herbs and the 19 antagonisms. So when we talk about mutual incompatibility, this refers to a combination of two substances that gives rise to side effects or toxicity that would not otherwise be present if either herb was used alone. So it's kind of like the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, but in a bad, toxic way. And we call this the 18 incompatible herbs, but it really refers to three groups of incompatibilities that add up to 18. So, Gonsal is incompatible with these four herbs. If we combine Gonsal with any of these herbs, it would create side effects that wouldn't be there if we used each herb separately. Aconite, either Jerfutsa or Wu To, is incompatible with these five herbs. And Li Lu is incompatible with these six. So the total list adds up to 18. So what are some ways we can remember these? Well, if you look at the first one, Gan Sao, or licorice root, notice that most of these herbs come from the harsh expellents category. The exception, of course, is Hai Sao, which is a seaweed from the transform flood category. But if you get a question about which herbs are incompatible with Gan Sao, pick the one with harsh expellents in it. You can maybe remember that Gan and Gan go together. So Gan Sao and Gan Sui. Then we have herbs that are incompatible with the various forms of aconite. So this includes Jerfutsa, Jertranwu, and Jertsawu. These are collectively known as Wu To. So here you may get a question about which herbs are incompatible with Futsa, or it may be worded which herbs are incompatible with Wu To. I've seen it both ways. But what I remember here is most of these herbs are phlegm herbs. So Beimu, both Jibeimu and Chuanbeimu, Gualo and Jirbancha are all from the transform phlegm category. So you can maybe think that the name Futsa looks kind of like fuzzy. So maybe you can think of fuzzy phlegm to remember this group. And the last one is Li Lu. Now, this is an herb that we don't learn and it's not typically used. It turns out that Li Lu is very toxic and it's used to induce vomiting in the treatment of wind phlegm, which is just not a treatment strategy that we really use anymore. So because we don't use this herb, you may or may not get questions about it, but I might just remember that this is the group of Shen herbs. Ren Shen, Sha Shen, Dan Shen, Ku Shen, even Xi Xin sounds kind of like Shen. So for Li Lu, think of Shen. When it comes to mutual antagonisms, this is maybe not quite as bad because here we're not creating side effects. It's just that this combination will minimize or neutralize the positive effects of each herb. For example, Ren Shen is very good at tonifying Qi, but if we combine it with Wu Ling Zhe, it may neutralize those effects. So when we say 19 antagonisms, this just refers to eight pairs and one triplet. The thing is, a lot of these are herbs that we don't learn or aren't even in our Materia Medica. So if we cross those out, that makes this list a little bit shorter. Now, I'm not sure how common it is to get questions on these pairs. Like with every herb test I've ever taken, I've always gotten at least one question on the 18 incompatible herbs. But with the 19 antagonisms, I could be wrong, but I feel like those questions are less common. But this is something that's good to look over and at least be able to recognize it in case you do get a question about these pairs. And then an additional one I'll throw in here is Ren Shen, Ginseng Radix, and Lai Futsa Radish Seed. 
Now, as far as I know, this is not on the traditional list of the 19 antagonisms. But we do see this note that the Materia Medica of Combinations states that Lyfutsa is contraindicated when taking tonics. And other sources will flat out say Lyfutsa antagonizes the tonic effect of Ren Shen, even though it's not on the initial list of antagonisms. So even though this is not officially one of the 19 antagonisms, I have seen people ask questions about this, that either Lyfutsa will cancel out the tonifying effects of Ren Shen specifically, or just that if a patient is taking a tonifying formula, they should avoid Lyfutsa or radishes in general. So that's just something to be aware of. So you definitely need to know this information for your big tests, but how useful is it in actual practice? Well, that's kind of an interesting discussion. So one example where the 18 incompatible herbs does come up might be in the formula Schertzautong, 10 jujube decoction. This is a formula for fluid accumulation in the chest, and you can see here that we use a bunch of harsh expellents to treat it, then we add in 10 pieces of datsao. Well, kind of the idea here is normally we would use gansao in order to harmonize or moderate the harshness of these toxic herbs. But here we can't do that because of the incompatibility between gansao and these herbs. Remember, gan and gan don't go together. So we use datsao jujube fruit instead. And so datsao is taking care of this action of harmonizing those herbs. So that's one example of making a substitution based on the 18 incompatible herbs. But really, many of these contraindications are not actually followed anymore, or classically, they never really were. One example is the formula Heizau Yuhu Tong, which is used to treat nodules like goiter. So this formula was created in the 1600s, and you can see that it contains both Heizau and Gansau, even though these are traditionally incompatible. We even find a note in Bensky that says, Traditionally, both Heizau and Kumbu were thought to be incompatible with Gansau. Nevertheless, they were combined in several traditional formulas, and this prohibition was removed from the official Chinese pharmacopoeia in 1977 because no real adverse effects were reported. In another example, with Wu Lingzhi, we see the note, Traditionally, it was not to be combined with ginseng radix, Ren Shen. However, modern research has shown this prohibition to be groundless. We even see combinations of Futsa and Ban Sha going as far back as the Jingwei Yalue in formulas that were created by Zhang Zhongjing. So on the one hand, yes, you need to be familiar with the 18 incompatible herbs and the 19 antagonisms in order to answer questions on your tests. But if you're in clinic and you see a formula where Haizhou and Gansau are being used together, don't freak out. It's probably okay. So if you want to review these groups of herbs, I have a handout you can download. It's actually several handouts put together that will help you study various topics that tend to come up on herbology tests, whether that's finals, year ends, clinic entrance exams, or boards. These are things like herbs that are contraindicated during pregnancy, the 18 incompatible herbs and 19 antagonisms that we talked about here, the basics of drug-herb interaction, herbs with special cooking instructions, and a few other topics. So if you want a free download of these handouts, there's a link in the description below. If you enter your email address, I'll send you these handouts as well as links to other resources that will help you study for herbs. I have a whole bunch of videos, handouts, and practice tests scattered throughout the YouTube channel and the website tcmstudy.net. So I'll send you links to some of those resources as well. So that's all for this one. If you want to keep reviewing herbs, check out this next video on herbs that are contraindicated during pregnancy.